And so do you have any idea how many teachers you've trained in your life? Oh, thousands and thousands and thousands. And I knew that it was destiny that I would become a teacher because my grandmother didn't have but one grandchild, a one, a one girl, rather. She had four children, four grandchildren, but one girl. And uh, she wanted one of those grandchildren from her writings and whatnot, I'm sure, to become a teacher. So it fell upon me because all the others had gone into that different vocations. And here I was, the baby of the family, a little girl. They called me Ann, little Anna. I was named after her. So they were trying to pattern me into the life of Anna Wade Richardson. I don't know what happened during the months, the uh, months of my growing up inside of my mother's body, but I don't know what I, if I heard it, did it mean anything to me or whatnot. But the minute I became a living individual on my own, I heard all of her teachings, the things that she taught and whatnot. And people immediately started teaching me from the time I came into this world. Yeah. So I heard all Anna Wade Richardson's things. And I used to teach my little dolls. And as I was teaching my little dolls, people responsible for me at that time would come in with suggestions, and those suggestions were based upon things that they had learned from my grandmother. And they were spreading what you might call the teaching gospel, that which she taught. And I was one of the persons to benefit from it. The teaching gospel of Anna Wade Richardson was that, number one, every child is able to learn. If you're going to teach a child, you need to understand that and try all kinds of techniques until you hit that right spot to help him learn. I came into this world hearing that. I say, my mother, my grandmother was teaching this material long before I met these authors in teach education in college. And so that was just a part of my upbringing. See, my grandmother went to the Boston Latin School. Right. And, and from there, she got her foundation. Well, she could have stayed there, but she came back because she wanted to help the people of Marshallville. That was her hometown. Yeah. And she wanted to help them. Marshallville people needed help. And she wanted to put a school there to help them. That's the first that's how she started. But my grandmother started inductive teaching and learning. You memorize it, but in order for you to be able to do it, you've got to get out there and do what it says do. What is it you are able to do? What did this fact teach you to do? If you can't do it, you haven't learned. Learn by doing. Right. Yeah. And uh, so that has been my philosophy of life.